What's up, YouTubers? Mr. Cleaner Nash with a Spyderco knife review. Um, <clears throat> I'm starting to get into knives. My wife tells me that I'm buying too many guns, so when she drops the hammer, you know what that means. At least you married folks do. You come up with an alternative. <laughs> And knives are a hell of a lot cheaper. And now that uh, I'm on a tighter budget, I get to have fun nonetheless. Um, <clears throat> the theme of this video is basically a uh, value alternative to the military. Um, if you're on a tight budget, if you're... Uh, basically looking for something that is uh, probably a fourth the cost of what the military is and it pretty much have has this the uh, the measurements overall which I'll go over in more detail are pretty much the same obviously there's some quality uh, differences that I'll go through but for the most part you know, is it worth the 75% increase, you know? Well, I don't have a military here, hence the poor man uh, theme here. So if I did, I'd be able to go head to head, but uh, I do have the Spider Co. Um, and I have handled the military, so I, I, I can base it on that experience, but unfortunately I don't have one here for you um, to compare to, so this will be somewhat complete <clears throat> let's get this vanilla cupcake candle out of the way <laughs> I'm in a funny mood um, so here you have the uh, ever popular Spyderco resilience with the G10 handle uh, nice chrome pocket clip anyway um, <clears throat> This thing is a freaking beast, I just want to tell you. Um, considering the price point, I think I paid $41 at KnifeCenter.com. not trying to promote them, but uh, that's where I got it. And, I mean, this thing is four and a quarter inches. It's, it's a freaking beast. Um, liner lock method here. Um, flips out pretty easily with the... Uh, thumb hole. I'm not even really putting force into it and it's coming out pretty quick. Um, you'll notice it's got some jimping here for a nice thumb plate. It really helps um, keep it steady. Um, there's a little bit of blade play I noticed. Not very much. Um, you know, and then also um, what's interesting is the uh, it's a skeletonized uh, stainless steel uh, liner. You can't really see it, but <clears throat> it's got holes in the steel, so it remains light, but has the uh, reinforcement as well for such a big blade. Um, I love big folders. I'm, I'm not. I have one EDC, I think. You know, which I don't call myself a knife, a knife collector by any means. I mean, I think I have like a half a dozen knives, if that. Um, you know, that with various sizes, one EDC, I have a AK-47 Mini, you know. Um, these are, I have the, the Big Brother as well, um, but this is the largest folder that I have at four and a quarter inches. Full flat grind all the way back to the edge. Um, let's get into a little comparison between this and the military. I do have the specs that I pulled off Spyderco's website that I'll be referencing. Um, a lot of the, the basic measurements are pretty much identical within, you know, a few millimeters we're talking, um, if that. The main difference um, is the steel. You have the blade steel, um, the resilience is 8CR13MOV. That is a mouthful, and I have no claim to know what that means or or you know 
the quality. Uh, I'm assuming it's different, obviously, because the, the blade quality on the military is better. Uh, the blade seal on the military is CPM-S30V. Um, one thing, I, the two other major things I did notice in the specs was the military is uh, 1.2 ounces lighter. So, you know, you know that you're, you might say, hey, you know, is, is really that significant? Well, not really, but if you're, you know, when you start getting these large folders, you know, every ounce counts. So, um, we, uh, what else are we looking at? Handle material, both G10. Um, I like this G10. I know people, some people love it or hate it, but I actually like it. It's not too aggressive. Um, the G10 on my AK-47 is pretty, that's like the most aggressive shit I've ever felt. And that thing ain't coming out of your hand. But at the same time, it's going to shred your pockets. Um, let's see. The blade thickness. Now, this is another difference I saw. You got a, a millimeter, which is actually a lot. So you got the blade thickness is four millimeters on the military, and it's three millimeters on the resilience. And, you know, that doesn't sound like a lot, but for blade thickness, it's night and day. And this is still pretty thick for my standards. Um, you know, well, I get a military in the near future, you know, time will tell. It's, I'm not, I'd have to get a deal on one, you know, obviously street price would have to be pretty sweet. Um, you know, but I might get one and then this would be my, my, I wouldn't carry, I wouldn't carry it. I'd, I'd abuse the hell out of this thing. I mean, it's just 40 bucks for Christ. Um, <clears throat> What else we got going here? Hole diameter. Hole diameter is a whopping millimeter difference. So when you're getting into 13 to 14 millimeter difference, it's really not that big. So it's a little bit bigger on the military for a little bit better purchase, but this is pretty easy for me. Um, I don't have huge fingers, but um, it works good. The, uh, let's see, the metal clip, I mean, pretty much, I just see the steel and the thickness, the steel quality and the thickness and the it being lighter um, as the main differences. And, you know, I, I did notice a little less blade play on the military. So the liner lock was a little bit sturdier um, for more abuse, I would think. Um, but, you know, I'm just happy with this. I mean, 25 percent, one fourth the price we're talking I mean, it's not half the price. It's not, you know, 50 bucks less. We're talking, we're talking a fourth, practically. I mean, that's, that's huge. You know, it'd have to be, it'd have to be some more bells and whistles um, for me, you know, to be able to uh, constitute purchasing that. You know, that's just my opinion. Um, the cool thing about the resilience is that it's just, for the money, you know, dollar for dollar is, is just, I, in my opinion, the best buy for a large folder. I, I just can't, I, I haven't seen anything else that price range, this quality that, and I've, I've done pretty good amount of research. I'm not, like I said, I'm not claiming to be a knife professional, but I'm just, I just, I haven't come across it yet. <clears throat> I'm assuming they keep these cheap because they make them in China, but the quality is still pretty decent. Um, so I think I'm rambling, but, uh, you know, that's pretty much what we're looking at here. And, you know, I just think here's a picture of the resilience It's from Spyderco's website. They call it a value folder. And this is the military. It's pretty similar. You know, when you're looking at them both side by side. I do like how the military has a black uh, blade, or not black blade, black clip. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, well, that's it, folks. Check it out and uh, see what you think.